battles, the news was received in stunned silence. Crowds gathered at the newspaper shops, reading yet scarcely believing what they read. At the royal palace, the flag flew at half-mast, confirming the unhappy message. And here at Kusnacht, by the Lake of Lucerne, is the dreadful aftermath of that fatal drive. The royal car, in the waters of the lake, shows the marks of a severe battering as workmen busy themselves about the task of hauling back to the grass verge. This is the little raised curb straddled by the car before its last wild plunge into this tree. And in this place, dignified by the outward symbol of human sympathy, were past the last living moments of a lovely and beloved queen. The return to Brussels, left in the health and vitality of youth, here is a story told in harsh simplicity. At the Garde du Nord, a guard of honor formed by infantry and cavalry, waited in the square as the corps du cortege clattered off in the wake of the hearse. Crowds of loyal subjects had stood bareheaded for many hours to witness the homecoming of their queen, so young to die.